India and Japan are holding their 2 plus 2 ministerial level dialogue in Tokyo. External Affairs Minister S. Jashankar and Defense Minister Rajna Singh are uh, discussing uh, the various aspects of India-Japan strategic partnership uh, with the Japanese counterpart. This mechanism of 2 plus 2 ministerial level dialogue between India and Japan was established in 2019. This meeting is happening uh, just few months after Japan's Prime Minister uh, Kishida was in India where he promised a uh, major infrastructural development projects in India and uh, uh, over 3 lakh crore uh, dollar investment over the period of next five years. We know that Japan has been a major uh, partner in key infrastructural development projects in India, including the bullet train projects. Uh, now, Japan and India are trying to uh, find a larger partnership in terms of defense and strategic alliances. Uh, in Indo-Pacific, uh, where both India and Japan have common interests and a common challenge also that is coming from China. China, uh, Chinese aggressive behavior uh, have been a worry for Japan's maritime boundaries where China does not accept and acknowledge the maritime boundaries and special economic zone of Japan. And there has been violation uh, by Chinese forces uh, to the areas of Japan's Senkaku Island. India has been uh, at, at, with a military standoff with Chinese forces at its northern border for a very long time now. So uh, the Japan-India partnership also clearly have a common challenge how to deal with the Chinese uh, you know, military aggression in the, in the areas around Indo-Pacific and, uh, and the boundaries uh, at India's northern borders. Also, India-Japan have been trying to create a supply chain which can be sustainable for the global uh, you know, uh, audience. Uh, India has been creating a more liberal policies in terms of manufacturing bases, uh, which, which has tried to attract more investment opportunity. Uh, in the wake of recent disruption of global supply chain, uh, we have seen how the manufacturing industry has been one of the key uh, affected uh, by this uh, disruption. And uh, with the technical expertise of Japan and the manufacturing uh, capacity in India, which can scale up uh, the, uh, the manufacturing uh, ability of any product, uh, the partnership can go a long way in the present demand cycle coming from the uh, global uh, world. Also, India and Japan have been partner of Quad. In fact, Quad was the brainchild of Japan's former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. And gradually, this ministerial level grouping of India, Japan, Australia and USA uh, graduated to a leader's summit level. Uh, where now India's Prime Minister, USA President, Australian Prime Minister and Japanese Prime Minister regularly meet and discuss the issues of concern and challenge and the global rules-based order. Also, uh, with this, uh, the manufacturing uh, ability of any product, uh, the partnership can go a long way in the present demand cycle coming from the uh, global uh, world. Also, India and Japan have been partner of Quad, in fact, Quad was the brainchild of Japan's former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. And gradually, this ministerial level grouping of India, Japan, Australia and USA uh, graduated to a leader's summit level, uh, where now India's Prime Minister, USA President, Australian Prime Minister and Japanese Prime Minister regularly meet and discuss the issues of concern and challenge and the global rules-based order. Also, uh, with this meeting, India and Japan are trying to create a sense uh, that these two countries are creating a more strong defense partnership. Japan's uh, defense forces uh, have tried to reorient themselves from a self-defense force of Japan to a protector of the area around Japan also. And also Japan is trying to uh, uh, scale up its manufacturing capacity in terms of defense pro uh, projects and defense uh, equipments. And India uh, can become a close partner uh, with Japan in uh, defense area. Uh, also, these two countries are trying to uh, create a more uh, just and rules-based order because that serves a purpose to direct directly to them. Uh, in the recent past, we have seen Chinese aggression towards Taiwan and uh, the, the military uh, drills that China created around Taiwan had created a commercial uh, virtual blockade when the global supply chain was already under strain and so many ships, uh, probably hundreds of them, had to wait for days before uh, going uh, en route because of the blockade, the military blockade that China has put in. So uh, this was some kind of uh, behavior that has worried the countries around Indo-Pacific. And when uh, these two ministers, External Affairs Minister Jashankar and Defense Minister Rajna Singh will be talking to their Japanese counterpart, apart from uh, other issues of India, Japan bilateral trade, uh, the regional issues specifically in Indo-Pacific will also find prime importance during the discussion.